we're doing here is uh, we're going to do our part two of uh, MIG welding gun parts. We did contact tip uh, last week. This week we're going to, or the week's going to be a uh, gas diffuser. And that's what the, the contact tip uh, threads into. Uh, again, it's using gas metal arc welding, flux core arc welding. Uh, let's look at a couple of the functions uh, first. Functions. It's going to hold the contact tip. So you have to have good um, uh, contact with the contact tip because that's where the amperage is going through. Um, it holds a gas cup. There's two different types of gas cups. One is uh, threaded on and the other one is like a compression fitting. You put this little uh, compression fitting on and then it just, you just pull the cap or a uh, cup on and off. The reason that they have the compression ones is because people tend to cross thread the cups on. That can be a pain. So they'll, they'll put them compression uh, fittings on. Um, where are we at here? Holds gas cup, disperses gas. At the very end of the um, gas diffuser, uh, there's little holes going around, and that's what puts the gas out into the cup and shields the uh, well from atmospheric contamination. That's one of the main functions of the gas diffuser, is putting that gas out in a nice, even flow. Um, feeds the wire, it just, the wire just goes through the middle of it. It doesn't, have, it doesn't like push it or anything. It's just a tube that the wire goes through. So it feeds the wire, and then last but not least, it holds the liner. Some of them have set screws that screw right into the liner. Some of them, the, the liner just meets up into, but it definitely meets the liner at the end of it. So that's one of the main functions as well. Let's go back up here to the first board. I looked up um, a Miller and a Lincoln again, cost-wise, and one was $12.89, the other one was $8.67. Uh, the reason that I want to look at the cost is we're going to talk about cross threading the contact tip. If you cross thread the contact tip, you've now destroyed the gas diffuser. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out and, in the lab here in a little bit and we're going to show you how to pull the gas diffuser uh, on and off. It's real simple to do. You just take the contact tip out, then you take whatever the gas cup mechanism is, whether it's threaded or whether it has one of the compression fittings, you take that off and then there's a set screw in the back that holds the liner or the liner doesn't have a set screw, it meets in there. And then you just unscrew the diffuser. So we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is I, I'm going to grab a bunch of diffusers uh, from a bunch of different machines, and we'll look at um, uh, the differences in between the diffusers. Uh, before we do that, real quick, um, I looked up one Miller that we had, and the, the diffuser was actually called a contact tip adapter. So if you see contact tip adapter, that's what they're talking about, is the diffuser. And it's just a little bit different how they have their compression fitting on. That's why they, they call it this. It's not. Uh, quite as big as um, some of the other diffusers, but if you hear contact tip adapter for Miller, that's what it is, the gas diffuser. So let's go out in the lab and grab all the contact, or not the contact tips, the gas diffusers that we can find, we'll line them up and uh, take a look at them. Before we do our lineup of um, diffusers, let's just take a look at one, a single one right here. And anywhere there's threads, there's a function. So right here, this one actually has the contact tip still in it. So this is the contact tip right here that threads down here into the diffuser. And then you see these series of holes right here towards the end of it. That's where the gas comes out and flows this way to shield the weld from atmospheric contamination. These threads right here are where either the gas cup threads on or you put one of those compression fittings on and then the gas cup goes over that. This right here, this set screw, the liner goes in right here. You tighten that set screw and it holds the liner in place and then this threads into the to the gun. So that's the breakdown of a gas diffuser that has a lot of components I guess. Now we'll do a lineup of um, a bunch of different ones. I found five different uh, gas diffusers. The adapter for the Miller is the one on the very very left and that threads into the compression fitting that you see right next to it on the right there. So they've kind of broken it down into more than one part. But those are five different gas diffusers that we found. I think the three on the right are Lincolns and the two on the left are Millers. So we'll head out in the lab now and, and break down a, a gas diffuser off of a gun. This is the big gun we're going to use. It's off of Lincoln Electric Magnum 250L. So we're going to start breaking this down and um, get down to the diffuser, pull the cup off, uh, that's just a compression fitting, but then you can unthread that, 
contact tip to get MIG pliers. Just thread that out. When they're kind of hard. And then let's look at this set screw here. So we got the contact tip out, the gas cup off, uh, the compression fitting off, and now we're going to look at that set screw that we took out here. Get in there without getting it blurry. See pretty good there. And you see that twisted component down in there? That's the liner. So before you take the gas diffuser off, you need to take that set screw out. Otherwise, it's just going to twist the liner. So let's go ahead and take the diffuser out. Once you have the set screw out, the diffuser, which shouldn't be locked on too tight, but people tend to do that anyways, even though they're told not to. There we go. Break it free. Should unscrew. And there you go, that's what's left. Right there's that liner we were talking about. So that's how you take the diffuser on and off. That's all we got for today. Next week we're gonna move into another part of the MIG gun. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next week.